you mean? I suppose it was your goals that's so responsible for taking Cheltenham to Wembley. How happy were you with your performances in the semis? Yeah, buzzing with my contribution, like I said, um, um, to score in both legs and at the times I did and to have contribution regarding Ben Burgess's goal and um, yeah, to be involved like that, um, I'm really happy. I'm buzzing for the lads and the staff and the gaffer and the club as a whole um, to be at Wembley in itself. That was just it's an amazing feeling to know that Sunday, big game like that to be involved in. So if involved um, or selected and I'll be buzzing for it and looking forward to having a contribution in that as well. Two really well taken goals as well. Does that sum you up as a customer? Very cool, calm and collected? Yeah, I mean, as a winger, you always want to get the ball to your feet and run at players, but sometimes you've got to be a bit clever and try and get in behind, and that's something I've wanted to add to my game more. And over the two legs, I've exercised that straight away and scored. I'm quite fortunate both off the post, similar, but credit to the players that um, put me through. I think Mo wanted to shoot. I don't usually make them runs for Mohammed, but yeah, he's, he's given me the ball and stick it in the back of the net. It's just a great feeling. For someone like that, get many goals and to score in both legs. Unbelievable. And you've been to have a look at Wembley. How was the experience of the day out? Because obviously, Sunday's all about the game. Yeah, I mean, like I said I'm from London, so I know all about Wembley. Um, it's the home of English football. And, and when we went um, as a as a squad to go and view it, like the change rooms alone, like you can just see the whole setup, everything, and to go out on the pitch. Um, I couldn't wait to get home to tell friends and family about what they're being for. They're excited, just as excited as me. I haven't watched the game at Wembley, let alone play there. So for my first visit to be there and to be playing football, is what I love to do. I'm just can't put it in words really. A London lad, but your first visit to Wembley, I mean, this is going to mean a heck of a lot, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, I mean, my first visit's going to be me playing there, hopefully, so, yeah, um, it's just going to mean so much, and, yeah, I think we've just got to focus, and to, to end on a win will just be, that'll just really put everything into place, and we've got to play the game and not the occasion at the same time, as much as it's such a stage Wembley, and I'm just looking forward to it, can't wait, and as you can see, the lads, everyone just buzzing around, can't wait for the game. Now everyone's talking about... This, so far this season, Crew have beaten Cheltenham twice, one 0 You've beaten Crew this season for old shot three one, and you scored. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've thought, I've looked at stats. I mean, I keep looking over my goals. I've looked at the goal against Crew a few times and done my homework on them a little bit. And I'm just really looking forward to the game. And I've got a good record against Crew. I've scored them against them, and I've had good games against them. I understand Cheltenham haven't beaten them, but you know, we're on form as well. Everyone's talking about Crew being on form. We're on a bit of form as well. And me personally, I think I've come into some good form and I'm feeling so confident going into that game. And it'd be nice to get a third goal in advance. I seem to like playing in front of the cameras as well, so I'm looking forward to it. And you keep saying, I don't score many goals. All we've talked about actually is goals that you've scored. So yeah. I suppose you've, you've just got to feel that you really are on top of your game at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's, football's like that. There's ups and downs. And, and for me as a winger, I want to score more goals. I've always been my biggest critic and saying I want to get on the score sheet more. And if I've been saving myself for occasions like this, then I'll take it all day. And obviously you've not played every game since you've joined, but if you play and win on Saturday or Sunday, then it just makes the whole move still worthwhile. I mean, presumably you're still happy you joined Cheltenham. Yeah, I mean, even when I'm not playing, I mean, I've, I've never looked back and said this wasn't the right decision. Um, I'm here today, I'm going to play at Wembley on Sunday, and this is what I've joined for, for a chance to get into League One. I understand I'm coming in um, to a good side, there'll be competition, and I've got used to the rotation there. But when I do come in, I want to prove what I can do and show the gaff what I can do. And I think I've come into the side at a good time, and I'd like to think I've contributed in a good way in terms of the last two legs and I'll stay grounded and hopefully going into that game Sunday, um, if selected, I'll carry on that form and even nick a goal. Got a good record against crew. And if you haven't played every game, does that make you feel a little bit fresher at this stage of the season? Because it's practically the summer, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, people talk about fatigue and, and players getting in, but I do feel um, really fresh and I think, and that's down to the fact that I haven't played as much. So when I do play, I've got so much I want to express and offer. You want to show why you want to be in the side. And there is, yeah, one game left. And I'd like to think, like I said, I'm just coming at a good time and I feel really fresh. And I think the lads have felt fresh and that's down to the staff. They've looked after us and that. And, and give us the best opportunity as much as us giving ourselves the best opportunity. So, yeah, into Sunday. Crew are full of normally quite nippy, often little players, actually not too dissimilar from yourself. I mean, it's, it's going to be a good footballing game against the, them, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of players are talking about crew and their, 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 the way they play football. And even when we played them, when I was here at Cheltenham, they played good football and they got nippy little wingers as well. And that, we want it to be about our wingers on the day and, and Cheltenham Football Club. So, we're there and we know what it's all about us really and as much as people talk about Crew's big record, like I said, we're coming into form ourselves and at a good time and 
on our day than I think we'd be anyone in this league and you know, I mean, our record shows that as well so we've got the players, we've got the right ingredients in the squad to go out there, stick to the game plan and do a job and put on a good show at Wembley as well. Thank you, good luck. Yep. Jermaine, uh, talking of wingers, who's quicker out of you and Mo? Oh, it's me. Yeah, but, uh, he'll, he'll tell, he'll probably say it's you, um, him but he's going to have a little race anyway at some stage but yeah, I'd like to think I'm quicker. Anyway. Yeah, but Wembley obviously is known for being a big pitch and the sort of space that Mo and you can eat up and um, yeah. yeah, you must be looking forward I mean, to it. As soon as we got to the Wembley pitch, we stepped out, we looked at it and said, yep, we just looked at it like we fancied ourselves. It's just, that's, that's, that's what it's about. As a winger, like, you look at that and you just, do you know what I mean? You just want to ball at your feet, you just want to be able to go out there and rush, run, and the width and the turf, everything's just set up. It's such a stage, and I can't wait to get out there. Yep, uh, Mo was playing non league football for Bath last year, and Sido was at Bath as well, but it wasn't long ago you were playing for uh, non league yeah, sides I mean, in London, where you merch them and times, like that. Yeah, um, just, just to think about it, a few seasons ago, I was playing non league at the likes of Tottenham, Mitchum, Staines, Kingstonian. I mean, Wembley was it, it's something you think about, just looking forward to going and watch a game at Wembley. You don't think you're going to be playing there, but football's a funny old game, and you work hard, you get your rewards. And uh, I was at all the shot just at, like, up to January, so I did didn't think we um, be playing in the playoffs, in the playoff final and even contributing in the playoff semi-final. So, yeah, I'll take it. It's a lot to take in and it's happened so fast. I mean, Man United game seemed so far away and that was a big highlight and the West Ham game as well. So um, it's been a great season and I'd just love to end it and go into this summer knowing that I'm coming back to League One. Yeah. There's um, different routes into football, isn't there? Because you you didn't you weren't at a centre of excellence or anything, where you? you just did the non-league circuit. No, did you, did you always saying. think your chance was going to come? Um, to an extent, you you think to yourself. To be fair, um, as you're getting older, um, you understand how hard it is and to not be in a centre of excellence. But like I said, you work hard, and there was always talks in that. But I, never, I always stayed grounded and worked hard. And um, to be to, when I got signed by Aldershot, it all changed from there. Um, and I just wanted to stay um, in the professional game as long as possible because football is what I love and then to get signed by another club um, in the league on merit is just unbelievable and to get myself my head down it's been a bit frustrating in and out of the side but I'll take that and to come in now and to be talked about a lot and it's, it's flattering as well to even be involved and to be in contention for Sunday at Wembley it's dreams really Yeah we've spoken about the change in lifestyle between London and uh Cheltenham, how are you finding the way of life? In yeah, I mean, I don't really go back to London as much as I thought I did. I've always ever known London, so I thought um, I'd be a fish out of water up here. But it's um, it's a great town, um, especially with what's going on at the moment. It's a nice nice area, and the lads have helped um, me settle down. And that. I've talked to the lads of Garbs and other players, Sido and that outside of it. So, yeah, um, it's a nice area, and, and I really want to give them something to cheer about on Sunday because um, as soon as I've come, the fans, um, credit to the fans, they've helped me settle down straight away to be known as a fan's favourite straight this early as well is just another big factor. Yeah.